Hey guys, in today's video we've got a brand new racing bike to look at. WL Toys, MJX, be careful, this might be the new king of the hill. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a brand new racing buggy to look at and this car really looks promising. I think that this car can be a real competitor for the MJX HyperGo models and for the WL Toys models, so be careful those brands. How do I know that? Well, I already looked inside the box, so let me get everything out of the box and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the car, a transmitter, some instructions, a 1500mAh lithium-ion battery, we've got a USB charger, some tools and we even got some spare bits and pieces. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on 3 AAAs which you need to supply of your own. So it's a bit bulky in my opinion but the build quality feels all ok. So it's capable of one end driving and I really like the foam wheel and the disc caliper that they've put inside there so that's a thumbs up. So here you can see the on off switch, this is your steering trim, your steering dual rate and this is your throttle trim and yeah that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car. In the front of the car you will find a very big and chunky metal front bumper which is always a good thing. So here you can see the shock tower and the shock tower is also made of metal and that's also a good thing. So over here you can see the shocks themselves but these are just friction shocks and I'm not sure but I thought it came with oil shocks so I think that you have to add some oil for yourself but uh, I will find out in the near future. So here you can see the, the plastic arms but look at the flexibility of the plastic. So normally when plastic is as flexible as this one it doesn't break very easily it just bends and goes into place so that's a positive thing so over here you can see the metal cvds and very big and chunky cups as you can see inside there so that's also a good thing and this car has got ball bearings throughout at the rear of the car you will find a very flexible wing and we have got a wheelie bar and this is already pre-installed so here you can see the metal shock towers the metal shocks as you can see metal dark mode metal cups and yeah this thing really looks promising so therefore you know i think that this is a already a winner but of course we have to drive it to find out but let me get the body off and show you what's under there Underneath the body you will find a very clean setup and look how everything is built guys. This thing really feels rock solid. I really like this already. So here you will find the 2-in-1 receiver ESC combination. This is your on-off switch and here you can see that it runs a 3-wire servo which is always a positive thing. So inside here you will find your surplus brushless motor and I'm not sure about the KV but I will put it somewhere around here. Here uh, also you can see the metal drive shaft. It's got ball bearings throughout. It's got metal gears throughout and yeah. Yeah, overall this car really looks amazing so let me throw in some batteries to show you when it's on the car is powered on and here's the steering servo so the steering servo is a bit slow in my opinion but it's got plenty of power for a car of this size so throttle wise full throttle and we've got a brake function so that's always a positive thing but just listen to the drive line do you see how smoothly this car drives and there's no cogging at all just look at this it just instantly goes, so that's also a positive thing. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys, we're at the Tarmac Road, and the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to see how fast this car can go. So let's see what the speed is. I think it was like 60 or 70 written on the box, but I don't think it's going to do that. So this car is 2S M3 is compatible, so this is a 2S LiPo. Oh, I need two hands to steer this car, so yeah, let me drive around a couple of times. We hit the top speed of 39 km an hour, so let's do the 3S battery and see how fast this is. So 
So guys, on the 3S battery, we hit the 58 kilometers an hour and this thing drives amazingly with the 3S battery. So let's take it off-road. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, back on the wheels. Full power. Oh, <laughs> onto the rocks. Did you see that? Here we go again. Full power. Whoa, <laughs> this thing rips, man. So I'm driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and there's only one thing that really annoys me and that are the shocks. So until now I didn't check the shocks but there is no oil inside there and this thing just bounces around. You know you can see the back end really popping in the air all the time and therefore it loses grip and it goes oh straight in that rock. It's still on its wheels that was a big crash but still you know it's one in, in one piece. I crashed it a million of times already. Oh, here it goes. Oh, still on its wheels. Full power. Ho. Oh. Full power. Yeah. <laughs> this thing really is amazing, except for the shocks. I will just give you some driving footage and. So guys, that was the driving with the SMRC, the S911 Pro. And what do I think of this car? Well, you will pay around 120 bucks, I think it is. So I will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But for the money, I think that this is a pretty good car. So you've got metal gears, metal drive shaft, ball bearings throughout, metal parts inside this car, a very decent brushless system inside there. So for the money, I think that's a very good purchase. But there's one thing which I really don't like about this car and that are the shocks so these are just simple friction shocks and i opened one of those up but and you cannot fill them with oil and that's a big downside so if you choose to buy one of those cars or uh, you know just may yeah just buy some extra shock oil filled shocks because this thing just bounces around and that's the only negative thing that i have to say about this car but performance wise you know it held up quite nicely i crashed it a million of times and i crashed it even in some very big boulders and it's still in one piece so that's very amazing but overall I really like this car. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.